How to write stand-up comedy. If your family and friends have told you that you're a funny person, you may have considered trying stand-up comedy. Writing stand-up is something you can learn to do. When you're writing your jokes, pick a topic that matters to you and stay as authentic as you can. When you get the chance to perform your set, structure it so that you get the most laughs in the shortest amount of time. Avoiding major mistakes, like making fun of audience members, can help your audience react positively to you and remember your set. Writing your jokes. Pick a topic. There are plenty of ways to pick topics for jokes. You can start with prompts that help you think of things you feel strongly about. When you have a list, think about whether anything you've written down has the potential to be funny. Ask yourself what you love. For example, maybe you have a serious love of Renaissance festivals. What could be funny about that? Do you always wear a costume that gets you funny looks in public? Are there certain types of people who attend the festivals that you could describe in a funny way? Consider what you hate. Maybe you hate spiders. You could come up with great jokes based on why you hate spiders, tell a story about a time you tried to kill a spider by yourself. Or describe spiders themselves in a funny way. Think about what annoys you. The things that might annoy you are a great source for comedy. Describe how annoying the subway is, people sitting too close, a couple making out in the corner, the one guy who always has his music playing without headphones. Build on a story. If you've already got a funny story you like to tell, use it for the base of your jokes. Build on it by telling jokes or other stories that are related. For example, if you have a really funny story about going to a theme park, use that as your base story. Then write other jokes related to theme parks, they could be about the food, waiting in line, or dealing with kids. Use the news as inspiration. Look for news stories that strike you as particularly ridiculous or funny or outrageous. Then make it personal using the following formula, X happened in the news. If I did that, if that happened to me, and fill in the rest. Not everything that comes out of this exercise will be funny, but you'll occasionally get some good stuff. For example, if you see a news story about politicians behaving badly, you could use that. You could start the joke by saying something like, Senator Smith just spent $100,000 on a private plane for his wife. If I spent $100,000 on a private plane I'd have a plane but no wife. Write down everything you can think of. Once you have a topic in mind, sit down and write down everything you can think of related to that topic. Don't try to force yourself to be funny, just write down whatever comes to mind. Set a timer for 5 or 10 minutes and write until the timer goes off. Draft a few jokes based on your brainstorming. In your free writing, you might have written down funny words, weird stories you forgot about, or even questions. All of these things can be the good foundation for jokes. Pick one or two things you like best and write out a joke based on them. Your first draft should be about 250 words. Revise your jokes. Once you've got your joke drafted, cut it from 250 words to 100, then to 50, then to 25. This forces you to get to the nugget of what's funny in your joke. It also helps you get rid of unnecessary context or buildup, which can distract your audience. Record yourself on the go. Carry a small notebook with you or download a notes app to your smartphone and take note of what you find funny. You might want to write down something someone says or something that happens to you or someone else. It can be great material for a joke. Carry a recorder and make jokes into it. You can also leave yourself a voicemail. Review your recordings and notes once a week to retrieve your ideas. Joke with your friends and family. Some of the best jokes come from real life experiences. When you're hanging out with friends or family, tell jokes. See what gets the most laughs. You should also pay attention to what makes you laugh. What do your friends and family do to crack you up? Get together for improv sessions with your friends. If you have other friends interested in comedy, suggest having a private improv group. The key to improv is to always respond to your partners with yes, so if someone starts off by saying you remember that time we got stuck in the elephant habitat at the zoo, respond by saying yes and, and make up another part of the story. Plenty of jokes can come out of these improv sessions.